Hey, YouTube. Okay, cool, you're recording, I think. <laughs> yeah, okay, wow, that's a little embarrassing. Um, so, hey, YouTube, um, I guess I kind of just wanted to, like, update you on my life, um, since a lot of the stuff that I talk about is, like, really theory-oriented, and, um, and I can get really bogged down with, uh, with ideas, and I, I kind of forget that that I'm a human being that exists and does things other than thinking, and I think other people, because of that, also sometimes forget that I do things and exist out in the out in the real world too. Um, so yeah, that being said, I had my pre-op physical today. Um, but yeah, I had my pre-op physical today, and I'm really happy about that. I got cleared for surgery. Let's see if I can find the note. I got cleared for surgery. Um, so that's obviously good news. Here it is. It says, patient is stable for surgery. Um, I'm going to see if I can scan it and send it in, or if I have to mail it. I'm not sure yet, because um, I'm going to Garamoni. And my surgery is scheduled for February 9th. Um, but, okay, so at my last doctor's appointment, um, which was a couple months ago, I was going to therapy at the time, and my doctor said that he was going to write me a letter for surgery, um, if I wanted, and I was like, whoa, okay, that's really cool, rad, I didn't realize that a letter meant a single sentence on a prescription pad. <laughs> Uh, saying, you know, patient is fit for surgery as opposed to something that has to say, like, top surgery is the next step for iris transition. Um, and it, ha it has to say something along those lines, and it has to meet all these other, like, ridiculous stipulations for garamoni, at least. Um, but, so I brought it up at my appointment today, and... He acted like he had no idea what I was talking about and was like, I've never had to do that before and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, whoa, man, you were the one who offered. Uh, so that was really bad and like I almost had like an anxiety attack after the appointment. And it was much less expensive than I thought it was going to be. I had to have a bunch of blood tests and because, because my last um, hormones like the hormone levels test or whatever, um, was too long ago for the surgeon to take. I had to do another hormone level test. And so anyway, everything was only $130. But I think, I think this time they mischarged me, but I'm kind of okay with that because last time it cost me over $200, so I'm not particularly sure. Um, but yeah, and I also got a, another prescription for tea and for um, my needles. So I'm really happy about that. I've been practically begging my doctor to, like, put me on subcutaneous shots instead of intramuscular ones. And he's basically, I'll, I even send him names of doctors. And I'll be like, hey, like, this person is an expert in transgenderism. He's in, like, this children's hospital, Dr. Spack. Um, contact him, please. Like, And he's just like, oh, all the stuff that I've read that's written by academics. Uh... <laughs> God, so gross. Anyway, all the stuff that I've read that's written by academics doesn't say anything about, like, testosterone through subcutaneous injections being better. It does say stuff about sub-Q injections being better, but it's, like, a different type of tea or something like that. And he didn't really particularly explain it to me. I had no idea what he was talking about. Um, he kept saying something about palates. Uh, no idea what that means. Um, anyway, so after my appointment, I'm still on intramuscular injections, by the way, and I'm really unhappy about that because I just want to be able to do my own shots again. Um, I haven't really talked about it on here, but it's funny. Ever since I did my how to get yourself a tea shot, I get panic attacks when trying to do my shot. Uh, um, but yeah, anyway, so after my doctor's appointment, I talk fast, especially when I'm nervous or I'm upset, just so you know. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, but... I, I called my adopted dad, and I was just like, hey, I'm freaking out, what's going on, blah, 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 that means I have to start going to therapy again. My surgery's in, like, three weeks, by the way, and I still don't have a letter. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is really bad. I can't afford this. 
I can't, like, I'm trying not to work too much because then I'll get sick, and I can't afford to get sick right now, and I'm just, like, I'm fucking freaking out. <laughs> um, and so he, he was just like, yeah, we'll have your adopted mom call your therapist and see what she can do, and because my adopted mom's a therapist, too, and so she can't write me a letter, but she can, you know, have, like, a therapist-to-therapist conversation about it. Um, so I just caught, I just got off the phone with my therapist or my old therapist, who I stopped seeing without any notice, um, because I was just like, well, I don't want to take the bus for six hours, like, there and back uh, anymore, <laughs> and pay, like, $50 an appointment, which is actually pretty cheap, because I don't have insurance, but yeah, um, I'm trying to calm down, <laughs> this is green tea, uh, anyway, <laughs> So I called her and she was like, yeah, Ira, I miss your voice. And like, she, she, um, she's interesting. Uh, but yeah, she was like, yeah, Ira, I miss your voice. And like, I'm just really happy to hear from you again. And, and well, you know, us therapists, like, sometimes we want to check in with our lost ones. And, but we just got to let them roam free. And I'm just like, what are you, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway, <laughs> um, and she was just like, yeah, I'll totally write you a letter, but you need to tell me exactly what you want. I'm just like, I want my fucking letter. My surgery is February 9th. I leave on the 7th, blah, blah, blah. Um, and, and she was like, yeah, it's just like, did you, did you go see Dr. Blackwood? And I was like, what? <laughs> and, um, sorry, I just, I, I like impersonating people. It makes me feel so much better about, <laughs> like, the stuff they say that stresses me out. Um, anyway, but yeah, no, she was just like, well, I send all of my patients to Dr. Blackwood, you see, and, uh, and, uh, he does this test, don't worry, uh, there's no way to fail, it's just an objective view of you, and, uh, yeah, and so it costs $400, but don't worry, don't worry, Ira, I know you're, I know you're on a tight budget, um, but, but, yeah, he gives my patients a discount, and so it's only $200. What? $200 is, like, your whole paycheck? Oh, okay, uh, yeah, it's still $200. <laughs> I'm just like, fuck! Ugh, fuck. Okay, so I need to figure out a way to take this fucking test out in Phoenix, which is like 20 miles away from my house, um, and I can get there just fine, you know, the bus, whatever, one day, but I have to have a whole day off from work to do it, which means that I'm losing out on money, um, that I could be using to pay for this fucking test, and, <laughs> and so yeah, so I have to pay for this $200 test in addition to going to therapy again up until my appointment and potentially continuing to go to therapy after, uh, after my surgery and, I'm just, I can't, I, I'm just, like, really overwhelmed right now, and I'm really stressed out about this surgery, and for some reason, I'm, like, absolutely terrified, and, um, I want to talk about that, um, I don't think I have the energy to write it, but I, um, but I'll make another video, probably right now, <laughs> um, about things that just make me feel kind of weird and stressed out about it. Don't get me wrong, I want it and I'm excited to have it done, but, um, but it's also, like, it's big, you know, it's a fucking big surgery and I've never traveled on my own before and, um, and stuff like that. Anyway, but yeah, I'm just really scared. And, uh, yeah, um, okay, yeah, I'm gonna try and, like, keep, uh, sorry this is so long, but I'm gonna try and, like, be more connected with you all, because, you know, sometimes the things I think and, like, my ideas are cool, I guess, but, you know, it's also nice to know that, like, I'm, you know, I exist and I have feelings and, and stuff like that, too. And, um, but, yeah, uh, I will talk to you all soon. Okay, bye.